Good evening. This evening I'm going to um, cover importing a SQL script or data using Microsoft SQL Express 2019 Management Studio. So basically I've got some data and I want to import it into a new database and so I like to import things through the SQL Management Studio. So my data is um, stored on a, a disk, okay, and it's in a, in a format of a SQL script. So when I have a look here, this is my SQL script. No, wait, this is a document. So it's the SQL script is inside this folder. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to extract it. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I will show you the SQL script. Okay, go compressed folder, extract all. I want to put it on my C drive. I'm happy with the folder. Okay, so under this folder, it's called the database script, and so this is the script that I want to, I want to import. Okay, and if I open it up, I don't know if Notepad will open it up, but um, let's try. Sometimes when things are too bad, too long, then it doesn't. But here, here it is, and then this is the SQL script. Okay. Um, so now what I have to do is I go and open my management studio. This is under tools. And I go here. You'll see we get presented with a screen like this. As I mentioned in the previous video, this is my Windows login. I'm going to stick with the Windows login. It should import the data. But if I do have a problem, I might use the, the SA one, the SQL Server Authentication one. But I'm going to try with the Windows login first. So I just choose Connect because I don't have any password. This is not a very secure database, it's just a um, temporary one. So what you do now is you go to File, and you say Open, and you can say, I think you can say File. What I used to do was just create, um, just used to double click on the file to open it. So you can do that as well. Uh, I'm just showing you the slightly longer way. So I go to my C drive, I go to my folder, go to my the subfolder, and then database script. So there it is. I'm gonna click on open. I see with me choosing this option, it's come up here and it said, the line ending in the following files are not consistent. Do you want to normalize the line endings? So I'll just say yes. Let's do that. Okay. And there's the execute option. So we can just say execute. Now it's busy executing our query or our SQL script. When it's done, you'll see here it'll say query executed successfully. 
and then there's a whole bunch of rows that it's created and so it just says created so many rows and shows you when it was completed and in order for it to display over here we normally just click on this refresh option go back to databases I'm expecting there we go there's my new database and this is uh, the one that the client wanted me to to get so without further ado I'm going to stop here I hope this uh, was helpful and informative and thank you for watching and all the best on your SQL adventures goodbye